Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for x. Now we're given 2 to the x plus 4 to the x is equal to 8 to the x. This is day 18 of our algebra February calendar. For the month of February, we're going to solve 28 algebra problems. It looks like there's some pretty cool ones on here. If you want to try this one, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. For the first step, let's divide everything by 2 to the x. Before we do the vision, we want to note that 2 to the x cannot equal 0. There is no value of x that would make 2 to the x equal to 0. And if you want to see a visualization, here it is in Desmos. It's asymptotic towards 0, but it will never equal 0. So it's safe for us to divide by 2 to the x. 2 to the x divided by 2 to the x is equal to 1. And 4 to the x over 2 to the x is equal to 4 over 2 to the x, which is equal to 2 to the x. And then 8 to the x divided by 2 to the x is equal to 8 over 2 to the x, which is equal to 4 to the x. So now we have 1 plus 2 to the x is equal to 4 to the x. Let's copy down the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, let's rewrite this 4 as 2 squared. And then to simplify this, we can end up multiplying the 2 times the x, or another option is to switch them. And now we have 1 plus 2 to the x equals the quantity 2 to the x squared. Let's do some u substitution. If we let u equal 2 to the x, we can rewrite this as 1 plus u equals u squared. And now we have a quadratic equation. First, let's set it equal to 0. Let's subtract u squared from both sides. That'll give us a negative u squared plus 1 plus u equals 0. And then I like this leading coefficient to be positive, so let's divide everything by negative 1. This negative and this negative will cancel each other out. This plus 1 is going to change into a minus 1, and this plus u will change into a minus u. And 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. And then last, let's rearrange these in descending order. u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0. From here, there's no way we're going to factor this, so let's do quadratic formula. a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. For both the a's, we'll plug in 1, and then negative b would be negative negative 1, which is positive 1. And in the place of this b, we'll plug in negative 1, and in the place of the c, we'll plug in negative 1. The quantity negative 1 squared is equal to 1. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is positive 4, and 2 times 1 is equal to 2. From here, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, and we end up with u is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. And now we can re-plug in the 2 to the x for the u. Anytime you have the variable in the exponent, it's easiest to solve using logarithms. Here are the notes of rewriting something from exponent form to log form. So we can write log, and then the base of the exponent is the base of the log. And then this is the argument of the exponent, and that's going to be equal to x. I just noticed the plus minus here, so there's going to be two separate logarithms. There'll be one for the plus and one for the minus. Now this minus ends up being a negative inside here. You can't have a negative in the argument of a logarithm, so this one is not defined. And this is the fully simplified answer to our question. x is equal to log base 2 of the quantity 1 plus root 5 over 2. Let's put a box around it. And if you want to know a decimal approximation, x is approximately equal to 0 0.69424. How exciting. And here's the next question. It says, which is larger? The square root of the quantity 5 factorial or the quantity square root of 5 factorial. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.